All right, so I recently um, got a chance to get a few items from UltaBeauty.com, and this is their 21 Days of Beauty Month. Um, and on there, um, I don't, can't remember exactly what day, but they had given us the opportunity to get a foundation that wasn't released quite yet. It actually releases on um, September 16th and it will be in stores on uh, October 8th. Comes in 30 shades and that foundation is going to be the Revlon Photo Ready Candid. And it looks like this here. I've taken off they were kind of janky. I understand this is like, I guess, maybe a test go um, for the release of it for people to just go ahead and try. But production still should have done the regular um, wrapping, what you want to call it, what you call that uh, little clear plastic wrap that they put on it that's perforated and everything like that. That wasn't on here. On I got actually got three shades, and they all came with like a piece of tape taped to the other side. Um, I feel like that's kind of janky Revlon, but you know, not gonna complain. Not gonna complain because I'm gonna take two of them back because I know one of them not gonna be my color. So yeah, or two of them not gonna be my color, but I still feel like that's kind of janky. You don't rush production and not like have a really good sealed in product like everything else and it almost made me think like did somebody try these before they sent them to me and just put some tape across it but i'm feeling like you know since all three of them came that way i don't think like they did that to just me so I'm thinking like all of them are going to come taped over the ones that uh, are for the people that bought them um, the day that Ulta said, okay, this is the one and only day that you can get it before it actually releases to online and into store. Yeah. But to get off of that rent, I do have three shades. Yeah, I have three shades. I have 440 Caramel, 500 Almond and 510 cappuccino and i actually do think that is the actual shade numbers in order if i'm not mistaken i'll put it in the video somewhere but i am caramel in there um i don't know what it's called i'll put that in the video too but i'm caramel in one of their foundations so i picked up caramel definitely as a shade reference but I am going to uh, go ahead and swatch all three of them. Ooh, 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 honey. <laughs> For the first one, this is Caramel 440. That's Caramel. Even toffee looks darker than this. <laughs> um, the next shade is going to be almond. And this is not your typical um, foundation. It is about 0.75 fluid ounces. You know, a typical foundation is one fluid ounce. Ooh, honey. Again, this is 500 Almond. <sighs> the last shade that I'm going to swatch is called Cappuccino. So what I'm going to do, just to be thorough, 
I'm going to blend this out some. Just so y'all can't say that I didn't do a good enough rivet. And this is about a pump. I think it was about a pump of product. It does spread out pretty nicely. And this is with my finger. It feels amazing. Like it really feels amazing. It feels kind of silky. Silky soft. And it's got, I would say, a good medium to full coverage um, finish to it. But this is Cappuccino. This is the darkest shade that I got. Which again, Cappuccino is 510. And this is Cappuccino. I could literally make this work. But I'm not. Because Cappuccino when you think about it, I want to drink a cappuccino. And I understand this is foundation shades. And maybe you don't want actual legit cappuccino. But this here, this is like a coffee with the same amount of milk in it. It's, I'm going to say that in person, this is peachy. This is, this color is very, very peachy. So if, I don't even, girl, 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 um, nah sis, I ain't, I ain't new. They missed the mark on that. And I'm actually going to see if I can like maybe put a picture of like the colors um, towards their little dots that they put on there instead of just swatching a color or putting a model on there that is wearing the actual color so that we can see kind of like a reference to what that color is going to be looking like versus, you know, kind of giving us those instead of giving us those little dots that they give you up on Ulta. Um, another thing that they should definitely make sure that they work on is giving you like the undertones of what the product is actually gonna look like. Like I like how Sephora does theirs. They give you all the foundations um, and they tell you what the color, color is, going, like what shade range is gonna be. Is it gonna be in the dark? Is it gonna be in the medium deep? Is it gonna be in the deep? They give you all that along with the undertones and the fact that they also give you the opportunity to, um, you know, get your other shade matches as long as you provide one match that you like. I like that. So I understand that, you know, I'm thinking like this is in my head. This is Revlon's first, you know, step out of just only having, I'm guessing, maybe about 10 to 15 shades. They wanted to hop on the bandwagon of, you know, ooh, let's have, you know, bukus of colors. Yeah, because they, they have 30 colors. And ain't no way in hell I've ever seen 30 shades of Revlon foundation ever. I think I've probably seen about 10 to maybe 12 shades. And mm -mm, since y'all, y'all, in my opinion, definitely missed the mark. Because there's no way in my head cappuccino is really in my shade range because in their what is it called what is it called what is it called it's i think it's photo ready or a photo stay long stay whatever the freak that foundation is called i think cappuccino and mahogany are like their top two shades or their their deepest shades and they are like two or three shades darker than me and here you have cappuccino right here looking so uber peach like it it is peachy it's settled down there's a little bit of transfer this has been on my face for about three to four minutes down and it's a little bit of transfer it has a nice medium to full coverage um to it but 
this color sis that ain't gonna cut it like cappuccino is it's not cappuccino it's not um it probably looks almost like since you can work with that but like i said i don't want to work with it because this is freaking ridiculous like in person no can't do it can't do it it is so peachy and this over here which was the 510 i mean 500 which is almond this is almond almond is peach this one right here um Caramel is a, I want to say neutral, but more yellowy-ish. This is probably be, this would, I would definitely say would be a NC42 girl. Caramel would be a NC42 girl. This, this would be on the warm side. I would definitely say anybody that maybe is about NW35-ish maybe somewhere in that range 500 but no I like when ever a, a company goes into another like different finish or a new foundation that if they choose caramel in something they make caramel in this new foundation the same exact color that's what you know I felt like I was going to be I was going to be winning but I'm not yeah, so that basically concludes this review. Um, the finish is pretty decent. I'm definitely going to say, like, I don't have anything on my face, but the finish is pretty decent. And um, it could definitely be smoother if I had on some primer. Um, it feels super soft, lightweight. Feels like I have nothing on my face. Um, looking at it right now, like, just thinking okay I'm definitely thinking it's gonna be for a normal to dry skin person or a combination skin type person or somebody that might want a little bit of a, a satin finish I think that this foundation is for you but you may have a little bit of trouble finding your shade if you are on the tan dark deep side because this is cappuccino this is cappuccino this here is cappuccino yeah um thank you guys so much for watching i'm annoyed and i'll see you guys in my next video